So this came in the mail today. It's pretty cool. It's a little uh, RF generator. Um, <clears throat> this is based off of a uh, ADF 4351-PLL. So it's got a little uh, OLED display in it, so it runs all by itself. So this is like the microprocessor section, and this is the synthesizer section over here. It's got some ups, up, down arrow keys, a reset button, and here it is in relation to the uh, to the tiny tiny SA. Can you see that? Uh, so it's kind of just a little bit bigger than a tiny SA, but it uh, it's got two outputs. I'm not sure why. Um, they seem to be the same. I don't know if they're out of phase or this is out A and out A. So I'm not quite sure what that's going on. I can see us. Looks like maybe a, it might be a, a plus minus, might be an out of phase thing. Um, so this particular model, uh, let me go ahead and turn it over. Whoa! Watch me break it right, right from the get-go. All right. Let me turn it off so I don't short things up. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, power supply, 5 to 12 volts. Uh, function point sweep hopping. Uh, so, like I said, this is the 4351. So the the range of this thing is 35 megahertz to 4.4 gigahertz. That's pretty cool. Sweep time 10 kilohertz minimum. Hmm, how about that, maybe that's maximum. Anyway, 4.4 uh, gigahertz. That's really cool. So one of the reasons I wanted to buy this. Um, Got one of these stiff cables on here, so it's kind of unruly. Turn things back on. Make sure my power supply is not shorted out. All right, there we go. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to buy this was an LO for external mixers. Uh, I really don't have a function generator that goes above a, a gigahertz. Uh, I have a spectrum analyzer now that goes to 1.8, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and see if this thing works. Um, so it, uh, let's see, let me, uh, let me zoom in a bit so you can see this thing better before we, before we play with it. There we go, that's better. So point, you say okay, and then you get to put in the frequency. So you can change the frequency here, and the, it's changing immediately as you as you step it. You can say okay. You can do, so that's point is CW. Then sweep, you can have a start and a stop. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, let's see here. How do you get out of it? <laughs> I don't know how to get out of it. Oh well, I put your reset button, that gets out of it. Uh, so sweep, uh, step frequency. So when you're sweeping, it's stepping. So you, you can set the resolution of the sweep. So if you have a coarse resolution, it sweeps fast. A small resolution, it sweeps slower. Okay, and great. <laughs> there we go. I don't know how to do the thing. Uh, step time, I guess how long it dwells on each one. What's that look like? Yeah, 10 milliseconds. That's like puppy at each one. Uh, and then dB set. You can set the uh, power level on the output. So it defaults to plus five, so that's pretty hot. So I've got an attenuator uh, attenuator plugged in right now, uh, just in case. Uh, dB set, it's kind of funny. It's uh, funny steps. Minus four, minus one, plus two, plus five. That's it. Okay, so we'll just leave it. All right, so let's, uh, uh, like I said, here's the, uh, here's the actual section. I don't know what this, this one does. It seems to output 100 megahertz, so it must be for daisy chaining them or phase lock looping on them or something. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what that does, um, but here's the output, All right? And it can take either regular power or uh, USB. Uh, mini. Um, and then there's a switch here that doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe it is with a USB. I don't know. It doesn't seem to do anything. 
I'm not sure what that does. <laughs> okay, so let's um, point the camera at the spectrum analyzer and we'll see how this thing operates. Okay, so we'll do the uh, CW, what they call point. Uh, so here you can see it change. It's got harmonics. It only has odd harmonics. It doesn't. The even harmonics are pretty suppressed. Uh, so here I'm stepping uh, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 megahertz, 900, and zero gives me an error. Uh, let's see. Here's gigahertz, 1100, 1200, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm right at the edge of my analyzer at 18. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So let's do sweeping. Uh, let's see here, sweeping. Uh, well, let's see here. It's just I'll just take the default. It's sweeping between 35 and 100 megahertz. Well, let's do. Let's do. Let's sweep between. Let's sweep between 100 megahertz and. Uh-oh, got to reset, <laughs> sweep. Oh man, this thing is kind of funny. Okay, sorry you can't see this, but uh, the menu system's kind of kind of goofy on it. Okay, there we go. So I have it set up to sweep between 100 and 500 megahertz. So let's set up the uh, analyzer, start frequency 100 megahertz stop frequency 500 megahertz so it's sweeping really 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 slow so I'm gonna go into the menu if I can I really don't know how this works oh I'm gonna have to wait for it to go all the way to the end before I can go to the next one yikes this is not working good all right, I apologize for this. I'm going to reset. I'm going to go to a steep. It was set to 0.1 megahertz per step, and I will set it to 1 megahertz per step. And that should be 10 times faster. And now my sweep got lost because I hit reset. So I'll go to 500. I know this is going to be a boring video. All right. Ah, there we go. All right. So we're sweeping between 100 and 500. And when we're at 100, we're getting the harmonic. So the harmonic zips off at twice the speed. Um, but yeah, it, it is sweeping. It doesn't seem to be very consistent with amplitude. Let's, uh, let's do a max hold. Oh, it is pretty consistent. And it, it, it dropped out on a couple of them there, so it's not always consistent. But if you do a max hold type of thing, it uh, it's very flat with uh, amplitude. So, um, yeah, I, I like it. So I think, um, let me, let me uh, go, go look at it again. So I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, it's real easy to set. I wish it had a case. I don't know if these come in cases or not. I wish it had a case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely put it on a, um, some type of plate so it uh, is a little more, uh, a little more robust. The cables won't won't drag it around and flop on the floor or something. So uh, when I tilt it up, why does it do that? Is this the connector loose? Yeah, I guess the connector is loose. Um, anyway, uh, first impressions. I think it's great. Uh, I really like it. It's, it's very quick to set up things. Um, I've been using the Tiny SA as a, as a generator, um, but this would be a nice, uh, nice addition to the Tiny, right? So, so you get the two, and then you can use this one to do the uh, frequencies, and then you can use the tiny SA. So this one I think is around $25, if I'm right, $26, something like that. It's not cheap, but 
it's not uh, not terribly expensive either. So I'm trying to put together a whole uh, kind of a whole RF lab on the cheap. So you know you have a vector network analyzer for 50, spectrum analyzer for 50, RF generator for 25. Um, yeah, pretty good. All right, if you were curious about what I was doing here, uh, you go to point and then you can change the change the frequency this way. Uh, okay, sweep. Sweep's kind of funny. You have to, you can't go up and down. Up and down is only to change the number. So you have to go and you can change the number up and down. And then you keep going right and it'll wrap around. So now I'm sweeping between 135 and 1100. And you say, okay, then it says, wait. <laughs> Actually, it means running. Wait means running. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. And then it says, okay, or back. So I guess we can go, okay, or back. Yeah, see, I, now it's locked up. See, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I think what it is, is it has to go all the way in the suite before it allows you to get back to the menu system. So it takes forever, so I always just hit the reset button. Step frequency, you get to set it. Uh, you know, I set it to one megahertz. Uh, step time in milliseconds. Yeah, TB set. So anyway, it's kind of a funky menu system, but I can get I can get over that. It's fine. Um, I like the thing. Oh, one other measurement I should make before I uh, quit the video, and that is 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 it spectrally pure, or does it have any phase noise in it? I guess it should. should I guess you should say. So here is a. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80. Yeah, so it's 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 very clean. I don't see any uh, any skirts at the bottom. Let's see, this is resolution bandwidth of uh, 10 kilohertz. What are we doing? Uh, span of, yeah, so let's go to the span of uh, 100 kilohertz. Yeah, it's still looking pretty good. Uh, span of 10 kilohertz. And here's a, a sweep with one kilohertz of uh, resolution bandwidth so it's uh it's pretty clean it's a pretty clean uh cw frequency